fast you would have to go to make the same trip in four hours. You have to go significantly faster. So you're like, okay, I usually drive down to LA, it takes me five hours to get there if I go 70. Now let's say I need to make it down there in four hours. How fast am I have to push my car? How many tickets am I going to get, basically? So, how fast do you have to go to make the same trip in four hours? Guess what? This problem is exactly the same as this problem. Same thing. It's only we don't have y and x. I haven't said, said that. I've told you something else. It is a word problem, sure. But it's kind of in, in a nice format. It says something varies somehow as something else. It's going to be something, in this case, what do we what's our first something? Speed. The speed. That's what's varying. And it's varying how? I'm sorry, varying how? Inversely or directly? Inversely. Very inversely, according to what? Yeah, speed. Blah, 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 blah. Inversely proportional to the time. So instead of y and x, we have speed and time. We're not going to do the distance because the distance isn't changing. That was just part of the problem that says you're going a certain, certain distance, all right? The speed needed to travel a certain distance. The speed is inversely proportional to the time. Let's set up our equation first. So first thing we got to have is either varies directly or varies inversely depending on what it says here. Now, of course, we just talked about this is inversely. So can you tell me what equation I'm going to have? Is it k times or k over? Which one? K over. Great. So tell me what I should write. Perfect. Do you have some numbers you can plug into that? <laughs> of course, right? The second sentence has to give you something. Uh, does it give you a speed? Yes. What's your speed? Seven. What's your k? k. Okay, k is k, we don't know. What's our time? So speed was 70, k, that's what we're looking for, and time was 5. Can you solve for k in this case? How? Yeah, let's do that. So just like before, we'll multiply both sides by whatever's on our denominator here. We learned how to simplify those fractions a while back. K equals what now? Perfect. 350. Are we done? Are we going to have to travel 350 miles an hour to make it there in four hours? No, probably not. We're, we've just kind of set up our problem now. We've just managed to find K. What are we going to do with that K, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, so what's the next thing I should write, please? equals 350 over K. Okay. Perfect. So I am just taking that k. Oops, I wrote it right. I'm just taking that k and substituting that into my original inverse proportional or various inverse equation. The next thing you do, you look to answer that that final question. How fast must you go to make the same trip in four hours? So the question is, where's the four go? Yeah, notice how you have to do this before you answer that question. You've got to have this down, right, somewhere. That way you can plug something into it to solve it. So, I'm sorry, where'd the, where'd the four go? Yeah. It's not a speed, right? It's a time. So, the speed you need is 350 divided by 4. What is 350 divided by 4? Oh, you're cooking. 87.5 what? Yeah, it's not a radio station, right? This is miles per hour. And remember, that's an average speed. So chances are if you hit traffic, you're going to have to go even faster sooner. You can really push your car. Isn't this fun? Oh, we're talking about speeding and stuff? Yeah, don't do that, by the way. I don't want to get in jail, like, sued for telling you to go 87.5 miles an hour, okay? But that's how fast you would have to go to make that same trip in an hour or less time, so in four hours versus five. Uh, one other thing, if I said now, instead of how fast must you go to make the same trip in four hours, if I ask you this, uh, let's say now you're going 90 miles per hour, could I ask you how long it's going to take you? 
I could. Now notice this is going to be your variable. You would have to multiply by t on both sides and then divide by your speed. So you could also do that. That's, I think, an exercise and leave to you for your, for your homework. How many people understood what we talked about today? Feel okay about this? Good. So directly k times, inversely k over. We set up our problems. We make our equation, and then we use that to solve. 